Hey everybody, I know it's been a month since I've posted, but I've been working on something I think you guys are going to like. Uh, remember at the beginning of the semester when I said I wanted to do some longer or at least some more complex stuff? Well, you're going to see that. Uh, this is a product I've been working on for a while. It started off as a video for a scholarship, but it sort of fell through and the rules changed, so I've been finishing it up uh, these past couple weeks. Um, it's more of a rough draft today. It's got some... It's more of a rough draft. It's got some issues. Its central thesis isn't that great. The structure's a bit wobbly. Um, but I think it's a good test pilot for stuff I want to do in the future. So, uh, if you guys like it, let me know. Give me some good feedback on it. And uh, I'll be back to posting a little more regularly and get some consistency back on this show. Alright. See ya. Hello. In the next few years, safety measures will become far more strict. I would like to speak to you all about the economic impact of those increasingly stringent safety measures. However, please remain skeptical, since no matter how well researched any argument may be, reality is always surprising. Anyone who claims to be able to predict the economic impact of any potential change with absolute certainty is either a liar or a psychic, but I repeat myself. For many years, safety had been a reactive process with the majority of the industry and public expressing disinterest on the subject. Safety innovations would come from recommendations of external associations such as the American Road and Transportation Builders Association and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. This approach allowed the automobile manufacturers to gradually incorporate the costs of these safety equipment and refine them into a consumer-ready product. Recently, there has been a shift in the approach and this is where the concern lies. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration has announced it will finally include crash prevention measures in its new test for the 2019 model years. This also comes as the 2021 corporate average fuel economy requirements loom in addition to EPA tailpipe emission standards. Oh, and let us not forget the nine zero emission vehicle states that use the California standard, which aggressively pushes for extreme emissions control. Independently, these could all be dealt with as had been done for years, but now they can no longer compromise between these separate goals of safety and the environmental concerns, such as sales and hefty fines loom large. All of these rules have to be implemented and followed through with, but the investment to align these disparate goals will not be insubstantial. The million dollar question is as follows. Will the increased safety and environmental friendliness override the higher prices, or will the higher prices override the increases in safety and the environmental achievements? The answer is yes uh, to both questions. The groups that care about safety, such as parents and elderly drivers, will flock to safer models while viewing the reduced fuel costs as a bonus. Even among the segments of drivers that typically do not have safety as a top priority, they generally change their tune as they have more experience traversing roads and navigating dangerous intersections, such as the one seen here. However, those who had no overt intention of purchasing a new car will likely not be swayed by safety as a primary concern is cost will have their attention on the used car market or alternative forms of transportation. Fortunately, those who have taken eco-friendliness seriously have always been willing to pay the slight premium that has been placed in front of them. In addition, the wider public has been expressing interest in green cars, but was just unwilling to look past the upfront costs and associated cultural stigmas. As these technologies slowly permeate beyond specific models and into the general fleet, only niche subsections will protest the increasing price points. However, the long-term savings have to pay off within a single owner's use or average people will be less interested regardless of the broader benefits. The new regulations will cause a permanent shift in the transportation landscape. That is the truth. Overall, the impact of increased safety regulations when evaluated in the greater context will be a net positive for everyone. There will be some minor growing pains as the industry adapts to the new normal. But any excessive pessimism is just unfounded. It is a time of change for the industry. Denying that change is impossible. Therefore, in order to remain competitive, being able to adapt rapidly will be the best solution. And in that mission, I bid you all farewell.